Um, all right, next game, uh, we have a line on this game, so that's, that's nice. Uh, Rams at the Redskins. The Rams open up minus 9.5. It's down to 7.5. Uh, looks like a bit of uh, sharp money on the Redskins. So who do you like in this game? I'm actually kind of bummed about this line in general because I wanted the Rams to play really, really well against the Giants, um, and the Giants get a backdoor cover, and then this line would have been way too high um, against Washington. Um, in this circumstance, I guess I like the Rams a little bit. I just don't think Washington's very good. They're banged up. They don't have a lot of talent on the offensive line right now. Uh, Brandon Sheriff's still out. Um, to my knowledge, I believe that will extend into next week, and then he could possibly come back the week after. Um, and, you know, they've gotten decent play from his replacement, Wes Schweitzer, but I, I just think that the Rams with Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey can get pressure on Dwayne Haskins, take away Terry McLaurin, which is really their one weapon on offense. Outside of Antonio Gibson, who looked good last week, um, he might be able to move the ball a little on the Rams. And then defensively, since they're still missing probably two defensive linemen, we don't know about Chase Young yet, but Matt Ioannidis is going to be out uh, for the rest of the season. Um, I think the Rams will have a chance here. And uh, just if you look at the game against the Ravens last week, if not for two Kendall Fuller interceptions, that game's a lot less close to being a cover for the Redskins than it was. Um, so I, I think the score in that one's even a little deceiving, even though they lost by like 14. So I'm on the Rams at minus seven and a half. I don't have a whole lot of confidence in it because I'm not a big Rams guy. I might put one unit on it, but I, I'm just fading Washington right now because um, I, I think that they have currently one of the worst teams in the NFL. And, you know, it's to be expected. They're going through a rebuild, so there's nothing wrong with it. But, yeah, I'm on the Rams right now. Yeah, I, I mean, you said you're not a big Rams guy, and I agree. I, I like, I, like what what have they done uh, to warrant such a, a, a like a, a large number on the road? Uh, in week one, they beat the Cowboys, which I think impressed people at the time. But now we've seen now we've seen how bad the Cowboys are, right? Uh, in week three, they were losing twenty eight to three to the to the Bills, and then the Bills fell asleep, and they came back, and yet they still lost. And then last week, I, I don't know what happened. I watched that game twice. And I still don't know how they beat the Giants by only eight points. If it wasn't for that Cooper Cup uh, play where he broke free and and went the distance for fifty five yards, um, the Giants may have won at the end. So like I don't know if the, this Rams team deserves to be favored by this many points on the road. I made the sign Rams minus six, so I think the sign's a little inflated. So I'm on. I'm going to be on the Redskins, but I, I'm not going to bet this game. I don't trust Dwayne Haskins. Um, although last week, you know he. I, I get what you're saying about the, those two fuller interceptions, but Haskins took care of the ball. Like at least he did that. Then again, like he threw a check down for a 40 yard pass on uh, fourth and goal at the 13. So I like maybe he's being a little too careful. But if he's if he's going to avoid turnovers at all costs, maybe that'll put the Ram the Redskins in position to get a backdoor cover or they got a backdoor push. Um, you know, against the Ravens, uh, thanks to Robert Griffin. So uh, we'll see. I mean, I, you could totally be right about this. The clobber the Eagles on the road, and they could do the same thing against the Redskins here. Um, I don't have a strong opinion on this game. I'm almost certainly not going to bet this game, but I, I guess I'm going to be on the home dog. Yeah, I think your logic makes sense. And my thing about Haskins is Rivera challenged him before this game and was basically like, don't make crushing mistakes. So he absolutely could try to avoid turnovers this game and for the rest of however long he's starting there. Um, you know, he could eventually improve too, but um, yeah, had four turnovers against Cleveland the previous week. So I think this week it might be like a more, you got to push the ball down the field type thing. It's going to be one of those, like the head coach and quarterback tinkering. So I think there will be some turnovers, but if there are no turnovers, I would say the Redskins would probably cover this one, but I agree. I, I don't have much confidence at all in that game. So I might not even bet the unit on the Rams because I, I don't think either of those teams, the Rams aren't as good as their record says they are, and the Redskins aren't very good. So I'm fine with uh, avoiding them. Yeah, um, TJ kind of brings up a good point here. That, and I didn't realize this. After this game, they'll have played every team in the NFC East, which is just a bizarre uh, schedule so far for the for the Rams. Um, you know, it's it's very strange. And and yet, like, you know, if they, assuming they win this game, they'll be 4-1, and one, but it's a very, very misleading 4-1, and one, I think. 